Hello everyone. So in this video, let's see about the clusters. Okay, if I just go to the compute, okay, you can see this is what the cluster is running. And from here also, can just create a new cluster, right? So uh, we have, as I told you, so we have a two types of cluster, right? So that is interactive cluster, okay, so which is used for the uh, 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 interactively, we can analyze the data, okay, we can create, uh, which is created by the users, okay, and you can manually terminate this interactive clusters, okay, so and even it has an option to auto terminate uh, if it is inactive and uh, even we can auto scroll and demand okay so when we, uh, the other cluster is job cluster which is uh, run automated jobs okay and it is auto created when the job starts so when you compare the interactive so interactive is like is created by the users whereas the job cluster is auto created when any job certain uh, starts okay and it terminates when the job ends okay so here we can't manually terminate under the job cluster okay so uh, so these are the main two categories okay if you see the documentation also you can see so azure databricks cluster is a top computation resources and configuration on which you run the data engineering data science and data analytic workloads such as uh, production etl pipelines okay stream analytics okay ad hoc analytics and the machine learning so here um, so azure databricks make a distin uh, distinction between the all-purpose cluster and the job cluster okay so here you can see uh, so uh, you can create all-purpose cluster using the uh, ui or cli or api you can manually terminate and restart all uh, purpose cluster okay and multiple users can share such clusters to collaborate interactive analysis this is what the cluster type is okay so one uh, other is jo job cluster so azure uh, databricks job schedulers creates a job cluster when you run a job on new job cluster and terminates the cluster when the job is complete okay so here you cannot restart a job cluster okay so depending upon uh, so keep this in mind and depending upon your use case you can just uh, uh, select the uh clusters okay so even like if you talk about cluster types again we have a standard mode and high concurrency mode okay so in the standard mode it is used for the single user okay so and there is a no fault isolation and there is no um, a task a preemption okay and each user requires a separate cluster okay and even even it supports different languages like python scala java okay and we have a other type that is high concurrency mode so where the multiple users can access right and it has a fault isolation uh, even it has a maximum cluster utilization and when it only supports python scala and r okay so in the high concurrency mode we don't have java okay so this is all about the clusters and from here you can just create a cluster which i've already shown you while uh, creating uh, while provisioning the uh, data uh, bricks